Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series and this is a high level overview video and this is part five and in this video we're just going to concentrate on the software part of the catalogue. Okay so here I am in my IBM Cloud account at cloud.ibm.com uh, and I've already come into the catalogue so I've pressed the, uh, the catalogue menu item here and I've also come into software so I've clicked the button over here as well. Okay so you can see in here that there's actually 99 items so there's an awful lot of um, stuff within this part of the catalogue too. But don't worry, I'm not going to go through every single one of these either. I'm just going to concentrate on the, the IBM Cloud um, items. But again, you know, it's worth taking um, some time just to explore all the different options within this part of the catalogue as well because, um, again, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff in here which can help you build applications and probably shortcut a lot of things as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to uh, scroll down here and click IBM as the provider. So you can then see the list actually um, disappears right down to 23 items. So again, there is a lot of community and also third party um, uh, bits of software within that part of the catalogue. And you can also further filter it as well by um, by these different options here. So let's click on Cloud Packs. So Cloud Pack is a set of middleware tools that have been actually been uh, put together by, by IBM actually installed and configured if you like as well uh, into a container and that container is then deployable uh, and you can then run it within an OpenShift environment so so wherever there's an OpenShift uh, container environment you can actually run uh, your your cloud pack so that can be IBM cloud it can be on premises or it can even be in, in, in another vendor's cloud as well so wherever there's, there's OpenShift um, you can actually uh, install and run uh, cloud packs. So, uh, so IBM so far have developed uh, five different cloud packs, and each of those cloud packs do a, a slightly different job, and therefore the, uh, the the middleware that's actually within the cloud pack differs. So, so far we've got cloud pack for applications, so that's for uh, moving from monolithic to microservices with DevOps and all the tools inside that help you do that. Uh, we then got things like automation, uh, cloud pack for data. So this is um, sort of all like. Uh, data and AI platform within a box, uh, then have integration. So these are tools that allow you to integrate applications and integrate data. And then lastly, we have a cloud pack for multi-cloud management. So again, lots of our customers and, and, and lots of users of cloud are actually using uh, more than one cloud vendor these days. So you know, they may have a cloud on premises, they may be using IBM, they may be using uh, you know, things like AWS or Google or maybe uh, Azure. But basically the cloud pack for multi-cloud management allows you to manage all of those different clouds from uh, from effectively a single pane of glass. So check out the uh, so check out all the different cloud packs. They're very powerful. They've got lots of great tools within them, and as I say, they come all fully configured. So um, so they can they can probably do a pretty good job if you need them. So next up, let's look at Helm charts. So um, so there's actually quite a lot of Helm charts within the catalog. So if I were to um, say click on third party you can see all of the different types of helm charts that, that are available within IBM cloud and what a helm chart effectively is is it's an uh, an automated way of actually installing some software within a within a container environment so within kubernetes uh, and, and within openshift as well so so you can actually run a, a helm chart uh, to install lots of different things within uh, within your kubernetes environments so, for example, an Apache server, um, keep scrolling down, we've got things like um, Logstash, uh, MariaDB, so several databases on here, so things like Mongo, um, I think there's a MySQL database in here as well, uh, and Genix, all these kinds of things. So, so again, if you're looking for some, uh, you know, a, a piece of software um, that you want to install within your, uh, within your uh, Kubernetes environment, then taking a look at the the helm charts um, is actually a pretty good place to start and there's also some uh, so if there's any community there's no community ones in here but the ibm one effectively is um, it's a it's a block storage plugin uh, so this is a helm chart that, that enables you to um, simply take um, block storage so it's persistent storage within your ibm cloud uh, Kubernetes service and quite a few of the, uh, the third-party um, Helm charts require that, especially ones for databases where, where you need to have some kind of persistent storage. So let's take a quick look at operators. So again, with operators, um, this is the, uh, the the mobile foundation um, components. So we talked a little bit about mobile foundation in the uh, 
in in the uh, when we looked at mobile services within the services part of the catalog. So next up we have um, Terraform, and uh, again there's uh, most of these are under community and third party. So if you're not familiar with Terraform, it's actually a way to um, build applications using scripting and software. So again, we have a, a number of these here and you can actually use our schematic service uh, to, to build Terraform scripting to create services. So we've got uh, different ones here for say LAMP and LEMP and uh, Big F5 or F5 Big IP um, devices, those kinds of things. So, so again, uh, it's, it's worth taking a look at those. And then last we have starter kits and uh, basically a starter kit is a really quick and fast way to get started with building applications. So we have starter kits built um, uh, built around a number of things and a lot of these are actually for the uh, for the Kubernetes or OpenShift services as well so they're containerized. Um, so um, so again they're, they're very quick ways to start building things so for instance with Java or, um, uh, or Python, uh, Python Django or Python Flask. Uh, Swift, so lots of different services. Some of these are, you know, with with uh, um, some of our AI services as well. So again, if you want to, if you know what you want to build, and you and you've got a um, a, a particular language that you're going to use or a particular task, then again, it's worth coming to look at these starter kits just to see if there's something that can help you get um, going much much faster than sort of building your own environment. And that's it for this video. Um, I hope it's been useful. If you'd like to be kept up to date with the series and like to know when new videos drop, then please take time to subscribe to my channel. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.